Oh, if you're calling me to spend the night, and if it's meant to be, then that's alright. my kindreds welcome back to another vlog it is currently 4 57 in the morning i woke up around 4 30. i have some editing to do i promised you guys a vlog on sunday and i did not deliver so i feel so crappy about that yesterday i did finish editing and um, i attempted to post but i woke up this morning and i saw that i have copyright issues so i have to go back and edit which is perfectly fine because a part of me wanted to re-edit this vlog anyways because I feel like I didn't like give it my all. It was kind of rushed because I really wanted to just like post a video because I haven't posted in the past month and it just wasn't my best work. So I want to go back and re-edit and just to make it a little spicy because basically the vlog was just like a vlog dump from the month of me not posting and I'm just like putting all the clips together and I just feel like it just wasn't my best work. So... I'm going to go ahead and spend about the next hour, hour and a half on re-editing that vlog and then fixing the copyright issues and then posting the vlog today so that way you guys can finally get a vlog. And I'm just trying to um, start this new, <laughs> I have a tendency to like stay up all night long. And then when I do stay up all night long, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to push through and pull an all-nighter so that way I'm tired by the end of the day. And that never works out for me because I end up going to bed like around 9, 10 o'clock in the morning and then sleeping my entire day away if I don't have any clients. And that's not good. So last night um, I did go to bed like around 1 o'clock in the morning. So I got about like three and a half hours of sleep. Um, but I feel like that's enough sleep for me to get up in the morning like right now. So hopefully um, by the end of the day today, I'll really be tired and go to bed like around 10.30, 11 o'clock. And then we can like, you know, get up in the morning tomorrow morning at like 5.30 and start our day. So, but first and foremost, if you are new, welcome. My name is Najee Noir and I am located here in Atlanta, Georgia. I am a lifestyle influencer. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so that way you can become a part of the Kenji family too. We are Kim folks over here. We're good vibes, good energy. You know, we're just all about growing and prospering together. So yeah, I'm about to get into editing right now and I'll see you guys in about an hour, an hour and a half or so. I'm a sucker for love. Please, please, please. 
to the gym this morning, but a kindred decided that that was a little bit too much of my plate. I already woke up mad early. I did my editing. I'm waiting for my video to upload. Now I feel like I should just reward myself for at least doing that. You know, we're gonna celebrate a small win. So I made me a nice fat breakfast. And once the nail shop opens, the kindred's about to go to the nail shop to get her nails done because these things is looking crazy. And yeah, that's gonna be our little morning, okay? But in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my breakfast, create my thumbnail for the video, and then create me a little to-do list for today because I'm going to Virginia tomorrow and I need to pack my stuff because I really want to take this time out to really lock in on my content, you know, do my outreach and responding to emails. I'm going to be recording every single day. I want to be able to, like, have, like, a head start on, you know, what I want my month to look like for the month of, Mar for the month of March. I'll see y'all Y'all, why the hell did I go to sleep after I uploaded that vlog? Literally, after I ate breakfast, washed dishes, uploaded the vlog, I was like, you know what? I got 30 minutes before the nail salon open. I'm gonna take me a nap. I'm just now waking up, and it's like late afternoon. So I'm about to wash this makeup off my face and go get my nails done. So to wipe off my makeup, I'm using the Verse Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. My two favorite makeup removers are the Verse Cleansing Balm and then Fenty's, which I ran out of. Fenty's Melt Off. This shit is so good. I love this stuff because it literally is like just as good as a makeup wipe, if not better. I cannot believe, you know what? <laughs> tomorrow is gonna be better, okay? Our flight is tomorrow afternoon, so we still have to make sure that we get to bed at a decent time so that we can get up in the morning. And I wanna pack tonight. I gotta record some content tonight too before I leave. It's the little things that get me high. Oh, if you come with me to spend the night, and if it's meant to be, then that's all right. Now I feel so much better. Skin feels so clean. Lips feel so good and juicy. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and like put some light curls in my hair, throw on some loungewear, and then we're gonna head out the door. I decided to instead put my hair up. It's giving like chill, like you know, running air vibes. And then I'm wearing this set from Pretty Little Thing. I'll show you guys like a little video right here i'm wearing this set from pretty little thing with these rubber sandals that i think i got a while ago from probably Shein or something like that and then this um cute black saddle bag from azazi but since of the day let's get into that into the day what am i feeling today i am feeling like i'm gonna do like coco chanel today this was actually gifted to me from angli on my birthday but I think I'm going to pair it with Floral Pink Pepper from Dozer. <laughs> now I'm going to wake up to a whole bunch of pimples on my goddamn face. Shit. How? Okay. Yeah, that's just it. You know, I'm chilling with no makeup on. I need to go get my brows done. And I'll see y'all at the next show. Okay, so I literally just made it back in. It is currently 8.43 at night. What a waste of a day. Ah, what a waste of a day. But like we're gonna, no, we're not gonna be up late. Well, I don't know, because I still gotta record content. I don't know, but I got my nose done. Yes, they look so cute. She did a really good job. I got them cut short because I was so tired of my long nails. And these just are more practical. Like, I love them. Yeah, they're still very much cute, girly, funky, super pretty. So, yeah, they did a really good job. I went to Signature Nails and Buckhead. Dang, I forgot to get her name of the girl who did my nails. Ah, oh, I'm so sad. I had my brows done. Got my brows done, they look so good. I, got, I was like, just cut the tail off. I had them cut the tail off because I didn't like how my brows were like drooping. So like when I fill in my brows, they don't be looking right. So I was like, can you just cut the tail off? So she cut the tail off for me. So now I can do my brows straight across and then she thinned them out up here because I wanted my brows thinner. And yeah, they look so good. I originally stopped by Ulta because I wanted some um, setting powder and a specific like contouring brush and then a brow like pencil because I don't have a brow pencil I don't think but I'm gonna have to check because the also that I went to 
maybe that's where all the black girls go because they didn't have any like Fenty primer, no Fenty foundation in my shade, no brow pencil in my color, no setting powder. I was like, bro, what? They literally did not have anything. So I, I ended up just getting this Morphe contouring brush, M405. And then I got this Make It Big Morphe Plumping Lip Gloss in clear. Because I keep randomly losing all of my clear lip glosses. So I got a lip plumper. This is my first time using it. Or trying it. Get out of my room, Nala. Thank you. I wonder if these is gonna make my lips tingle. Oh, they're not as it's not as glossy as I wanted it to as I want it to be. Is it? No, it's glossy. Period. And it's doing a little bit of tingling. Okay, we got a nice little clear little clear gloss. Hopefully it makes my lips feel all juicy and plump and stuff. But that's all that I got from Sephora. I mean I support Ulta and it came up to like 20. $28.32, $30 for lip gloss and a brush. Y'all, makeup is expensive. And this ain't even makeup. This is just a brush and lip gloss, $30. $30 is crazy. But, um, yeah, then I got my package from Amazon. I also am having a package shipped to my mom's house for, like, my influencer recording setup situation. So I'll show you guys that later once I get home. But yeah, I had to get me a new light because like one of those lights that everybody use on their phones or their iPhones, I had to get a new one because I lost mine. I lost both of them. And then I had to get another light for my camera because I left it on the plane. And then um, I wanted to get this like grippy thing for your phone, suction grippy thing. So that way you can just um, like... Up, put your phone up everywhere any and everywhere and it sticks and then you can you know create content just to make you know just to make my b-rolls a little bit more funky and then i had to get me some of these edge wraps for my wig installs y'all these ones are 10 times better than the little edge wraps that like your wigs be coming with i love these ones because they just melt so much better the quality is so much better and then i had to get me another handy dandy tripod for recording and taking pictures because mine's broke in my suitcase. Um, one of the legs broke in my suitcase. It's still used, like, I can still use it, but I don't want to. It's my mom calling me. Hello. Um, just got in, about to make some dinner. Basically about to clean out my refrigerator, make everything. Nala says hi. Um, when Brandon was here, I got two packs of steak. I didn't. I thought I needed two, but I only needed one because we ate one. But so was one left. And I don't want it. I don't. I'm staying away from red meat, but I'm gonna make it tonight because I don't want to waste it. But. Oh uh, no! It's in the refrigerator. Yeah. Can I still freeze it? Probably not. When did you buy? Wednesday. It's time to make it. Next Wednesday? Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. It's big. I forgot where I was at. But, y'all, let me tell you what happened to me today. I was so mad. Like, what? I was, like, huh? Y'all wouldn't believe this. So, I get into my Uber, and my Uber pulls off. And then, as we're at the light, he's like, Oh, it, I mean, it was traffic. Mind you, it was traffic. And he's like, oh, I'm not getting paid enough for this. And I said, excuse me? He was like, where would you like to get dropped off at? I said, Ex excuse me? And he's like, where would you like to get dropped off at? Publix or Target? I said, I would like to get dropped off at where the app is requesting you to drop me off at. And he was like, I'm not getting paid enough for this. I said, they already charged me for this ride and you accepted it. So wh why is that my problem? And he was like, because uh, it's already still a mile and a half away and all this traffic, I'm not getting paid enough for this and I already picked up another ride. So where do you want me to drop you off at? Publix or Target? I said, where, where the... Where the app is telling you to take me is where I would like to get dropped off at. Why this man busted, busted 
a left at the light and proceeded to go to Publix or Target, stopped at Publix, unlocked the door. I said, are you fucking serious? And he didn't say anything. He's like trying to figure out how he can end the ride. And I'm like, you know what? Okay, I got out the car. I slammed the door. I contact Lyft immediately. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? I contact Lyft immediately, told them what happened or whatever the case may be. And of course, they refunded me. And I'm like, um, how can I rate this driver? Because what the fuck? And so they um, rated the driver one star for me and everything. But like, what? I'm like, how, how do you? Like, I'm so confused. Like, this don't even read. This don't even make no sense. How do you accept a ride? And because it's traffic, I mean, yeah, you picked up another um, ride, but you don't want to continue to take me to my destination because it's still a mile and a half away due to traffic, and you rather just drop me off at fucking Publix or Target? Bitch, I'm going to the nail salon. I don't want to go to Publix or Target. So, that just really blew me. Um... But yeah, I had to call me another lift and I went to go get my nose done. And like I said, they came out so cute. And I don't know what is your problem. But they kind of worked in my favor because as I'm waiting for my lift at Publix, I'm like, I need some more rice. So I went and got me some instant rice, <laughs> some instant jasmine rice for dinner tonight. But yeah, I thought that that was so fucking crazy. So and I'm about to make my dinner. Um, I don't, I really do not want to eat this steak, but I'm definitely not about to waste this steak. And it's too late to put it in the freezer. So I'm going to do what my mom said. And she said to use some of the meat, cut it up, put it in a bag for Nala. And then I'm going to make the rest. I was trying to see if one of my friends wanted to come by and have some food with me. Because I really don't want to waste it. And I'm not going to eat all this damn steak. But nobody answered the damn phone. So screw it. We're about to make dinner tonight. Listen in. 
woke up this morning not being able to smell or taste. But now, since I went outside, I can smell faintly. And then I made me a coffee. I'm about to see if I can taste my coffee. Thank God. And I can taste my coffee. It's like a little faint, it's like a faint taste. Like I can taste it, but I can't taste it. And like right now I can smell, but I can't smell. But this morning, I couldn't smell absolutely nothing. I couldn't taste absolutely nothing. My mom leave like little chocolates on the nightstand in the guest room. And so like I popped in a chocolate first thing in the morning to see if I could taste it. Couldn't taste it at all. So um, it's been about, I would say it's been about like a, it's been about a good two hours since I've been up. It's what? It's 1030 right now. So yeah, I've been up since 830. And um, i just been like on my computer um, creating like magic links for the get ready with me's that I did these past two days. But um, yeah, I'm going to still obviously walk around the house with my mask on and stuff. So I'm just about to wash my face, brush my teeth, do my hair a little bit, just a little bit. And then I have to go downstairs and um, revamp my mom wig. My parents, they're going to, like, some show, maybe, like, a comedy show. Can't remember. Later on today in Richmond. So, when she comes back, you know, I want to do her makeup, a little bit of makeup, and then send them off on their date. <laughs> but I cannot believe this. It's like, I don't feel sick. Like, my body don't feel sick. Um, I felt last night me wheezing a little bit. And I'm like, I don't have asthma, but I was wheezing a little bit last night when I lay down. And then, like, right now, I feel like I have a little bit of mucus going on. Yeah. Like, if I was to hawk spit right now, I probably could. And, but other than that, like, I don't feel sick. But to wake up with no, no senses, well, with two of my senses gone, was crazy. Thank God I could taste my coffee this morning, because, mmm. Yeah, it's there. It's not fully there, but it's there. Uh, child, where the hell did this pimple come from? I'm gonna blame it on the dogs trying to lick all of my goddamn face. Because I ain't even been wearing no makeup these past couple days. I mean, for real, for real. Mmm, my skin. Ooh, I'm a, little, <laughs> I'm a little dry right now. I'm <laughs> like that. Go ahead and spray my um, superfood multi, multi mist on my face. That feels so good, cool, and refreshing. Oh, I just loved it. I'm going to put on my uh, discoloration correcting serum from Good Molecules. Um, and I don't know if y'all noticed, but this is getting better. Like, it's it don't look as bright as it was before. It's getting better, y'all. It's getting better. Oh, my forehead getting better. <laughs> mm. It just feels so good when I massage my face. Even though I can't even, can't even feel this side. But... It's like, I know what I'm doing. And it's like, though I can't, like, really feel it, you kind of know how, you know, I, I just said I couldn't really smell. It's like, it was like a faint smell. It's like the feel, it's like I can't feel it, but I can feel it at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I can't feel it, but I can feel it at the same time. And because of that, it feels so good. Like, even right here, it's so numb. But for some reason, when I do this, it just gives, like, this some type of sensation i don't really don't know how to ex explain it but it just feels so good it feels so much better than me <laughs> doing this for some reason it just maybe because i want to feel it so bad and then it's like something there and it just feels so, i don't know how to explain it but it feels so good though i, I can't feel it so weird but um here's my grandma calling me i know she mad at me so i've got to call her back hey grandma Hi, I still love you oh so dearly. No, I don't love my grandma anymore. I do love you, grandma, so much. What you got going on? Today? Grandma's doing okay. Grandma's going to Detroit two weeks tonight. Oh yeah, she. Grandma, my mama told me that you were going. She didn't tell me when, but she told me that you were going. And I remember you and I had talked about it a few months ago. So. Yeah, going to Savior's Day. Savior's Day. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh. oh. Yes, child. I haven't been in four years. Wow. You know, because COVID hit. Yeah. And then last year, they had, you know, 
open savings day back up, but I, I was too skeptical about going, so yeah. I was like, I ain't going. I had the money anyway, but all I had to do was beg, I would have got the money. <laughs> <laughs> Where you going this year? I asked my mom, because she told me, she was like, yeah, your grandma's going, save his day, da-da-da-da. And I was like, oh, were you so kind enough to send her? She started laughing. I said, I was just wondering. I said, we talked about it a few months ago. She said she was going to ask you. She said, she said, well, the little monies that I be giving y'all, uh, I took that and I took yours and, and sent her. So basically, y'all paid for it. <laughs> I was like, dang. I said, I said you didn't consult me. <laughs> mm. But yeah, she, she, she blessed me with a little something. That's nice. So I'm very thankful and grateful for her. Yeah. So talk about COVID being outside. Okay. Okay. I was getting ready to go into that. What? I never stopped my, my protocol when it came to COVID. Uh-huh. COVID is highly on the rise. Well, I woke up. I woke up this morning and couldn't smell or taste nothing. Oh Lord, poor thing. But but it's been a few hours now and it's like slowly coming back. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, be careful because it's out here heavily. We just got our protocols this morning about medical department. You know, uh, yeah. I mean, I I stopped taking all the supplements that was required for us to take because I was giving my body a break. Required from who? And, and they gave us a, a protocol to go by certain vitamins to take to keep your immune system up for COVID. Who is they? Our, our medical department in the nation of Islam. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I think I had sent you all that stuff, too. What, what types of vitamins to be taken. Uh-huh. And um, I'll send it to you again. Okay, it's please. On the website, but I'll send it to you. Okay. And um, put it publicly. They put it out there for the public too. Uh huh. Not just for us, you know, us, but for the public. Mm hmm. So this mess out here ain't no joke, and and we make it so bad. There's other stuff that they got out here that they claim they don't know what it is, so they can't name it. That's out here real bad too. Mm hmm. So, but yeah. Just trying. The only way I believe, the only way I believe I'll catch it is through my son. Oh, because him going James, to work. He's reckless. He's he, very. I I call him reckless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he's real sociable, you know, and I notice he don't put on a mask anymore to be mm -hmm. out. Um, he don't wear a mask. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so he's very sociable. I can't eat. Currently, there's a pretty bad virus going around in the United States. It's kind of disguised as COVID, but you're going to test negative for COVID and the flu, and nobody knows what it is. I've been out for three weeks, and I still have some of the symptoms. Like, I'm still recovering, meaning I cannot go back to work unless I'm fully recovered because what's going to happen is, like I did, I tried to go to work on Sunday, exhausted, first of all, and I can't stand for a long time. My back is hurting me because I can barely support my own body weight. I'm like can't breathe my chest is heavy but i also feel like i have to vomit 
I literally went through all the stages of like COVID, but it expanded into a three week timeline. Like nobody knows what it is. Nobody truly knows how to treat it. You just have to write it out. Why is the news not talking about this? Why is nobody talking about this virus that's going around the US? Thank you. 